Today I'm going to be reviewing the Craftsman 12 volt 1500 amp battery jump starter. I'm also going to use this to test on my vehicle to see how good it is. And finally, I'm going to do a comparison between this and my homemade jump starter. And I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages of this jump starter compared to a homemade jump starter. Let's get started. First of all, let me show you what's in the box here. We got a main unit, the jumper cable, charging cable from your car cigarette lighter, and you plug this into the unit to charge it. It also comes with a USB C cable, so you can plug it in right here to charge the unit at home. And that's all in the box. There's nothing else in the box. It has a cable management on the back here so that you can just clamp it on the side and then roll your wire on the back here to make it look nice and neat and you can put it away on the bottom of the units you got the input and output USB-C in, 12 volt in, USB out it also has a 5 volt USB output so you can plug in your phone to charge your phone on the right side, this is the main connector for the jumper cable. And this is where you plug in this cable to jump start your car. Next to it, we got the accessory LED light, which you press and hold this button on the top here. It will turn on and it has three modes. So always on or press again. We got the SOS mode and then we press it again blink mode and to turn it off you have to press and hold the button here for five seconds the capacity on this battery is only 37 watt hour to put it in perspective this is a cobalt 24 volt 2 amp hour and it is 48 watt hour the capacity on this cobalt battery is even more than this battery here and you look at the size comparison so even though this battery is five times bigger than my cobalt power 2 battery the capacity on it is much less so over here i've got a toyota matrix i borrowed from scotty kuma and i'm going to try on this car the engine on this is 1.8 liter this battery is currently sitting at 12.1 volts and it is currently discharged and it's not able to start the car but I'm just gonna give it a try just to confirm here we go there we go cannot start the car it just clicks wow it pulls the battery down to 10.3 volts let's give it a try shall we I'm gonna connect positive to the positive terminal of the battery and negative to chassis ground not on the negative terminal of the battery and that's what stated clearly in the manual the idea is that when you connect this to chassis ground away from the battery it will prevent spark on the battery and therefore prevent explosion and that's because when you charge your lead acid battery it will emit hydrogen gas and if there's a spark it will explode However, if you clamp this on the chassis of the car, it has to go through the entire body of the car before it gets to the battery. And a lot of time, it doesn't have good connection on the chassis. So uh, it will reduce the effectiveness of this jump start battery before it gets to the car battery. Here we go. So positive to positive to the battery and negative to the body of the car. So I'm going to plug it in right here. It looks like it's unpainted, so hopefully that will do. I got my voltmeter and my amp meter ready. Let's turn this on. It's not happening. What's going on? Let's try again. Alright, it's on. It's not charging the battery. Nothing is happening. I figure this connection is not a very good connection for ground. Let's try another ground about here. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> you see it's charging at 
13.7 volts and the current is about 20 amps right now let's see how long it's gonna charge see now it turns off so it only charge for about 30 seconds or so before it turns off so when you turn it on you can hear a relay click and that's when it's charging the battery but that only lasts for 30 seconds and then you can hear the relay click again that's when it turns off and it stops charging I'm gonna go ahead and start the car anyway and see if it would start <laughs> There you go, so one charge is not enough to start my car. So we're going to have to try this again. Let's turn this off. Off. Turn it back on. Now it only has three bars. What's going on? It's not... It's not charging my battery anymore. What's going on? Maybe this connection is not that good either. Nope, not charging. I'm gonna plug it directly to the negative terminal because plugging on the chassis does not work and this cable is too short to reach anywhere. Let's turn this on. There we go. Immediately you see it's charging 32 amps. 30 amps right now. Let's see how long it's gonna charge the battery. turns off so again about 30 seconds let's go ahead and start the car so there you go it works but it's very finicky and hard to use especially when you have to use this clamp and clamp on the chassis of the car and most of the time that doesn't work and I have to just clamp it right directly on the negative terminal of the battery. And the capacity on this battery is too low. I was able to jump start my car for about 7 or 8 times before it completely runs out of juice. And that's why in the manual it suggests that you should recharge this battery pack when it goes down to 3 bars. And in this case, my car battery is not completely dead. It's still a good battery. I just discharged it so that I can do this test. So if you have a really bad battery that requires a lot of charge before you can start the car, this might only last a few, two or three jump starts, and then it would just die. So there you have it. It works just fine, even though it has very low capacity. And that's the problem with all the jump starter. They're designed to be small and light and portable, and therefore they have very low capacity. And that means that if you're looking for one of these, and a lot of them come with bells and whistles like USB output so you can charge your phone, your iPad and whatnot, LED lights and all that. But if you use up your battery, even if just a little bit, because the battery is small to start with, when you need it the most to jump start your car, you don't have much and you probably run out of juice before you can start your car. The retail price for this is $140. I think that's too much for what it is. If you're handy, you can make yourself a jump starter like this one here. This is a 12 volt 12 amp hour battery pack. That came from three of these Cobalt 24 volt power 2 batteries. This battery cost me about half of what I paid for this and it is four times the capacity compared to this one here this is 37 watt hour at 12 volt so it's about 3 amp hours this is 12 amp hours so it's four times the capacity compared to this one it also has an LED light and it is much brighter than this one here and the biggest difference is this one is a real 12 volt battery this is not this is just a jump start battery it jump start your battery on the car for 30 seconds and it turns off you cannot use any 12 volt devices for this one 
And even if you could use a 12 volt device on this battery, because some do come with 12 volt output, you still don't want to use it because of its low capacity. So when it's time for you to jump start your car when you need it the most, it's out of juice. But with this battery, I can run anything that's 12 volt, right? A fan, an LED light, a pump, anything that's 12 volt, this one can do. And just like this jump starter, it can jump start the car. And last but not least, not only can this jump start the car, it can even start the car without a lead acid battery. Just this battery alone is enough to start the car. I made a video on this battery a while back and I'll put the link down below if you're interested in seeing it. So there you have it, jump start batteries. And it's good to have them in a the car for an emergency, but they do have many limitations. If you have these and before you put them in a the car, make sure you charge them to 100% and make sure you come back and check them once in a while to recharge them because the internal battery is connected to a BMS and they all have phantom load and will drain the battery over time because next time when you need to pull them out to jump start your car when you need it the most you might be in for a surprise because your battery is out of juice because it has been discharged over time and that's all for now folks thanks for watching and i will see you next time